Hey guys, YouTube World Record here. Alright, and I figured I would just come on here and just talk a little bit about the, uh, the trailer that was released for, like, the, um, upcoming Black Widow movie from Marvel that's coming out this coming summer. Yeah, so, yeah, the trailer has been out for a, about a week now. And so, <laughs> yeah. So I figured I would just, like, make a video to just, uh, talk about the trailer and how it really looks and really, like, what this really does as far as my anticipation for this movie goes, yeah? And also, like, at the end of this video, like, I told you guys in my last video that I was going to be announcing in my next one what I'm, what my plans are this year for Christmas, and so, yeah. So I'm going to be making that announcement on what my plans are for Christmas after I talk about this trailer. All right. So... Yeah, like I said, the uh, this uh, trailer came out last week, and yeah, I have watched it, and yeah, it does look um pretty interesting. Yeah, I'll put the uh, trailer for this uh, movie down in the description if you want to watch it, and if you haven't seen it yet, and yeah, you can just like see it for yourself and really get, like get a little bit of a, a sample on how this movie will look. Yeah, so yeah, so this movie it. <laughs> This is kind of, like, interesting, because, <clears throat> yeah, ever since Black Widow has been introduced in the MCU, I mean, just so many people have been saying that they want a Black Widow movie, and, yeah, Marvel is finally making one, so, yeah, it is good that Marvel is finally now making a movie about Black Widow, yeah, though it feels kind of, like, a strange uh, that they're making it now, seeing as how, um, Black Widow, of course, ended up, um, dying in Endgame, and so, yeah, and so, yeah, I've, so it's kind of, like, strange that they're, like, making the film now after she already died, yeah, but of course, like, this film is an, a prequel to uh, Endgame, it, and, like, it's not, like, set after, obviously, it's a prequel, yeah, but it is kind of, like, an interesting prequel, because, yeah, this film, it's not really, like, a prequel, to, like, talking about, um, which is, like, a story about her origins, like how she became Black Widow. Yeah, it's not like that kind of prequel. This film, how it's a prequel is, it's set sometime after the events of uh, Captain America Civil War. So yeah, it's kind of like a story about her, like what went on with her after the events of that. So yeah, so it is kind of like odd that they are like giving, setting this film like during this time. Yeah, but, yeah, the trailer for this film, it is, does look interesting, because, yeah, it is set, well, as I just said, after the events of Captain America's Civil War, and what it's really about is, um, uh, she ends up, like, uh, coming back home, and, yeah, it does show, like, she does, like, have a family here, like, this trailer shows that she, like, is coming face-to-face -face with her sister, or, yeah, and it does show, like, I'm not sure if, like, in this uh, trailer it's also, like, her parents or just some other sort of relatives of hers or anything. But, yeah, it does so now that she does have an actual family here. So, yeah, so now it's kind of, like, funny, like, seeing, like, after she died in Endgame, how they were, like, discussing if she had a family and they're, they were saying just us. Yeah, but now, like, this movie does show that she actually does have a family, an actual one. Yeah, and apparently, like, what this movie is going to be about is just, yeah, apparently, like, she's, like, confronting some situation from her past, yeah. They don't really, like, this trailer really doesn't, like, explain, like, what this, uh, uh, situation that she's confronting actually is, but yeah, it's just, like, in this trailer, like, it's like she's just saying that she has to go back to where it all started and that she's not running away from her past anymore, so... Yeah, so, yeah, they don't actually, like, really reveal what it is in this trailer that she actually is confronting. Yeah, it just does, like, has some, like, voiceovers just, like, saying that she's not running from her past and she has to go back to where it all started. Yeah, what it is, we don't know. Maybe, like, when other trailers come out, maybe it will, like, explain a little more or maybe we're just gonna have to wait for the movie to come out this coming May for... <clears throat> us for any like actual like um revelation on what this uh situation is that she's going back and confronting yeah but yeah so i can't re there's not really like a whole lot that this trailer really did um go over yeah but this trailer also like opens up by kind of like just showing some flashbacks with like 
from like her in the past, like with like previous events, like with the Avengers and stuff. So I'm not sure if like this movie will like kind of like dive into her past and maybe like go more into like whatever the situation is that she is confronting. One thing is, yeah, I'm not sure if like there will like be like some flashbacks like this kind of like going over like the backstory for whatever this film will be about and it will explain more on like um what uh, uh, uh she is actually like confronting in this film or what's going to be going on and plus yeah it does show that she does like i said it shows that she does have like an actual family and i don't know i mean do you think maybe like in this movie like maybe like her family will actually like be uh killed in this film and so and that could be like one of the reasons why in Endgame that they said that they were her family at least since like she didn't really seem to actually have like any like real family if they would have or like end up being killed in this film and maybe that could be why like the Avengers were referring to themselves as her family yeah and plus also like something else that I am actually like questioning for this film is do you think maybe, like, in the end of this film, like, in the post credit scene or something, can you imagine if, like, in the post credit scene for this film, if it actually does um, show that she actually was brought back to life in Endgame when they completed the gauntlet? Because, yeah, so of course, like, in Endgame, they were saying that no matter what they did, they couldn't actually bring her back from um, uh, dying in, in um, Endgame when uh, they retrieved the Soul Stone. But, I mean, her, I mean, yeah... I mean, what if, like, it actually was, it was, like, undone, and she actually was brought back to life, and nobody was, and nobody actually just, they didn't know that she would be brought back to life. I mean, can you imagine if they took that twist, and she actually did come back to life when they completed the gauntlet, and then Marvel, they actually, like, bring her back, and, in like, in a future film, film with, like, I don't know if they are going to be doing more Avengers films or yeah, who's going to be sticking around, but can you imagine if, like, for, if, like, she actually does end up, um, coming back and they see her again? I mean, yeah, like, Clint, for example, Hawkeye, like, can you imagine if, like, they made a, they make a Hawkeye film and then he sees that she's back? I mean, yeah, it's just something that I've really been thinking of. I mean, what if, like, she actually was brought back to life and they completed the Gauntlet and Endgame and it just ends by, like, showing that, like, like when she, the post credit scene for this movie, if like it, it is just like on Vormir and it just shows her dead body, but then it just shows that she wakes up, like her eyes just open, and it just shows she is brought back to life. Oh man, I mean, I'm not sure like what the chances really are of that happening, but it's just something that I'm really thinking of. Like, what if she does come back to life? It's just oh, that's something I'm really like speculating could happen so yeah so i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see like about more like when more trailers come out and we may get like a bigger clue on what this film will be about because this trailer really doesn't go into a whole lot but yeah <clears throat> i just figured that i would just like talk a little bit about it for what it does show so yeah like i said the uh, trailer for this film will be down in the description if you want to see it if you haven't yet and yeah just let me know what you think of the trailer and what your excitement are for is for the movie. I mean, I am looking forward to the movie, of course. I mean, Scarlett Johansson has just been really great as Black Widow, so I am looking forward to seeing, like, a whole film just centered around her. So, yeah. So, yeah, and we'll just have to wait to see like, what else this film will be about when more trailers come out, and then when the movie actually is released this coming May. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see how that looks. All right. So, yeah, I guess that's those are my thoughts on the Black Widow trailer. Okay, now I will announce, like, what my plans are going to be for Christmas this year. Alright, so, as you may remember, last year, in honor of Christmas, what I did is, I, rather than, like, reviewing, um, Christmas movies, like I have usually do, what I did last year is just, I reviewed, um, just various, uh, Christmas TV specials, whether it was, like, just a Christmas episode of a certain TV show, or if it was, like, an actual Christmas special. <coughs> And so, yeah, and those seem to do, like, pretty well. I mean, those did get, like, quite the number of views, and people really did seem to enjoy them. And so what I decided to do this year is something that is, like, kind of similar, but also different. So, um, yeah, I decided that this year I will be, I will uh, go back to reviewing, um, Christmas movies, but it's going to be different, because this year what I'm going to do is, um, it's going to be, like, not the traditional type of movies, because, yeah. Of course, like, 
there are like a lot of um famous uh, theatrical um Christmas films that have been made over the years, like the Home Alone movies, Christmas Story, Elf, the Santa Claus movies, movies Polar Express, Die Hard, Gremlins, and yeah, a whole bunch of theatrical Christmas movies. But yeah, there has also been like quite the number of Christmas movies that have been um made for television or have just been released direct to video. Yeah, there's been a lot of um Christmas movies that have just been like released that way. And so, yeah, so what I'm gonna do this year is I'm gonna be making reviews for those. I'm just gonna this year I'm gonna be dedicating my uh, Christmas reviews to just direct to video and made for TV um Christmas movies because yeah there has been a lot of them made and so yeah and I have like watched like quite a lot of um <coughs> direct to video made for and made for TV on Christmas movies over the years. I mean, I did watch, like, quite a lot as a kid, and I do know that there has been, like, quite a number of them released over the years. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing this year. I'm just going to be going over some direct-to-video and made-for-TV Christmas movies. And, yeah, I mean, because, yeah, as I said, there has been, like, quite a few. I mean, I know that, like, there were, there were quite a few... Um, Disney Channel original movies that were, like, Christmas films, and Disney, in general, has released, like, a number of direct-to-video Christmas movies, of course, like, they did Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, as well as the sequel, Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas, and there was also um, Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas, and, and, uh, yeah, other, uh, Christmas movies like that, and, yeah, there have been, like, other, uh, uh made-for-TV Christmas movies as well, like, um, there was A Very Pretty Christmas, Christmas, and, uh, there was, um, there have been, like, um, a, yeah, there's just been, like, like, just a lot, of, well, yeah, many, uh, different, um, made-for-TV and direct-to-video Christmas movies, and so, yeah, those are what I'm gonna be doing this year, I'm just gonna be, like, reviewing, like, direct-to-video and made-for-TV Christmas movies, movies, yeah, because, yeah, as I said, I did watch her quite a lot as a kid, and really, that's kind of, like, what, these reviews are really going to be focused on, or they're going to be, like, um, movies that I have, like, I did watch a lot as a kid during Christmas time, but yeah, I'm also going to be looking at some that I really haven't actually, um, watched before, just, I'm going to be looking at what I seem to be, like, some of the more popular, um, made-for-TV Christmas movies, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing, um, this year in honor of Christmas, so yeah, from now until Christmas, I'll be, um, taking a look at, um, the, some uh, made for TV and direct to video Christmas movies. So, yeah, so, yeah, so those are my plans for Christmas. So, yeah, stay tuned for those coming up. up, up. So, yeah, those are going to be my plans for Christmas this year. All right. So, yeah, stay tuned for those reviews coming up. All right. So, yeah, so I guess that's all I can really say. So, those are my plans for Christmas. And yeah, as I said, the Black Winter trailer will be down there and you can watch it and just let me know what you think about it and what you. But just for your anticipations for the movie. Alright, so I hope you guys did um, enjoy this video, and yeah, and uh, stay tuned for my um, made for TV and direct to video Christmas reviews. Alright, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, this video, and stay tuned for the reviews. Alright, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.